All right, so I'm going to show you what, what you do when you have three tasks and you want to make it with one giant ass problem. Because I'm bored. And it's 5 a.m. So here we have Linux Mint. Um, and we have a Xbox controller. And we're going to try to take both these two problems and mix it with Steam and Team Fortress 2. I'm going to see what the results we got. What kind of results we got at, you know, 4 to 5 a.m. Um, surprisingly, came out rather well. Um, this is using... Control system is stock. Whatever Valve thought of the best controller layout is, um, and T Fortress Two likes to take seven hours to start. Um, but yeah, running some proprietary Xbox drivers, but it works perfectly fine. Um, I don't know if you like playing, so I'm just going to start my own server and show what it's like. Uh, but this is... This is Steam for Linux running the build from December 7th uh, version 12 um, yeah so far I have a whole you know 10 or so games but hopefully more soon now that Linux works more or less flawlessly on Linux Steam on Linux We'll see how it runs in game, because that's usually a big problem, right? You know, you can play video games on Windows, you can't play them on Mac or Linux. You know, the same thing. So we'll see what they are. See what happens. Let's do heavy. Getting only about 200 frames per second. Not, not much of that long. Yeah, it's gonna kick me to spectator in a second anyway. This is using stock. I didn't even touch the controls. This is what Valve thought was the best solution. Buttons work. All right, let's see what I can stay up here. I can't. Um, so, of course, your right trigger spins you, and your left trigger spins you. Your right trigger. Oh, it's your trigger. You could use the D-pad to quick switch wiring weapons. B reloads, like you know, all your normal games. A jumps, X shows the score, Y is quick switch. Um, kind of the same thing as clear button, I don't know how you describe this button. This one's your taunt. Badass, right? Um, medic is right trigger. Crouch, left trigger. Uh, let's go this. But, you see, I can't seem to do well, a lot of inputs. I can't crouch and move at the same time, but yeah, we're pretty do. Um, back button character select. Uh, start button is wow. Who would have thunk start? Um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Um, 
so yeah, seems to work the way that I wanted it to work. So that works fine. Um, uh, let's see if we can play. I don't think I can play two games at once, right? No, I, I totally can. Because Linux is way cooler. Um, but we can do Windows too, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, I just want to show that soon you'll be able to play all your favorite games on your server, I guess. Champ. I'm getting 160 frames per second running on um, 1600 by 900 in windowed mode. Uh, high, very high, all high, all high settings. You know, everything decked out. And it says right up here at the top, running an OpenGL. Really fun. I can sit here and. Uh, Change server. There we go. I don't play. I don't play. Team Fortress 2. Um, yeah, I can play on all regular servers here. I don't want to use my crappy internet. And yeah. So, totally works like it should. So, very soon, you'll be able to play all your favorite games. Even has a little section here, Linux games. So maybe soon we'll be playing Goldeneye on Linux if they were to release the SDK. Try to install SDK and it uh, gives you the nice. Not available on your current platform error. That's fun, right? Um, yeah. Be sure to follow the Goldeneye forums. That's where all the happening and stuff is. And yeah. See y'all real soon. Keep kicking.